it's time for you to stop telling your business to your friends. They're your friends. And yes, you want to, you know, have the girly girl talk and all of that good stuff. Well, girl, hey, girl, hey, girl, I'm here to tell you, stop. And let me give you, let me give you three reasons why. Okay, reason number one. The first thing you should really think about is mad day. You're telling all your secrets. You're telling about relationships. You're telling about what this man can do. You know, what that man can do. Whatever you're telling, you got to remember that sometimes there's going to come that mad day where that friend is so mad that they're about to tell all your business to somebody. You Hope that you're in luck and they just tell it to somebody like their boyfriend or or somebody, you know, their mom who ain't going to do nothing with it. But you might get that one psycho friend that go tell everybody you know. And that per and they tell that person and they make sure they tell that one person that's going to go tell everybody else you know. And, and that's not a good friend in the first place and you probably spotted some red flags along the way but people will do that people will literally tell your business to try to ruin your life okay that's point number one number two is let me let me say it like this you will fumble a bag listening to broke people you will lose a good person a good relationship listening to sad, miserable, single, messed up people. Like, you ever told your friend something like, girl, I met this guy. He's buying me flowers. He's opening the doors. We're going to go eat. And he pulls out the seat. And then they respond to something like, girl, that's what men's supposed to do. He ain't giving you no money. He ain't a millionaire. He ain't got this type of car. He da 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 da. He's a bum. He's crusty, dusty, and musty. When before you told him that, you were literally happy about it. He was meeting this boundary, this standard of yours that you were fine with in that moment. And then this person comes and ruin it with their unsolicited advice. It's and see, don't don't get it mixed up with when this person has a so-called red flag. And they go MIA every day at 5 p.m. And you don't talk to them to 8 o'clock in the morning the next day. And you only talk to them from, you know, 8 to 4 every day. Okay, that's weird. Like, they're only giving you a certain amount of time. And it seems like they're going home, you know, to a wife or a girlfriend. Or they aren't excluding you in all of their, including you in all of their life. That's different. You know, that is the difference. And that's why I think we get caught up on telling our friends stuff because we're like, oh, maybe they'll catch the red flag for us. But sometimes there's two things. They have good intent or they have bad intent. A lot of the times I think friends do have good intent. Like, girl, that's the bare minimum. They supposed to do that. Yes, that is true. But sometimes they're going off of their experience and and ruining your experience because like oh well this guy did the bare minimum for me in this whole relationship or the the normal minimum and we never move forward to anything outside of that and they want to save you from that but maybe this man he just you on date number one date number two and and you expecting him to give you a thousand dollars in cash and take you shopping like maybe that was date number 50 maybe that was and and now it's ruined, okay? So we got two things down. Number three, why you should stop telling your friends all your business. That's because sometimes you need to hold things near and dear to yourself. Internalize them yourself. Learn yourself without the influence of somebody else. So, you know, if you tell somebody like, girl, I don't think of a good scenario. Girl, you know, I want to be a nurse. We're going to do this. Girl, I want to be a nurse. And say your friend, for example, is a nurse. And she said something like, girl, nursing is hard. Girl, I'm burnt out. I've been doing this for five years. Everybody's moving over to tech now. There's so many other avenues to make money. And then now your decision or your thought process is kind of... um 
change. Like you're going to have that chance, that inner time to think it out and see if, hey, I want to take this destination. And you still may take it regardless of what your friends say, but you didn't make the decision like get to make it on your own technically you had this influence on it and even if she said something positive like yes girl this is for you i believe in you i know you can do it and gone girl let's do it and now you know you're more motivated to go towards that direction when hey maybe you had an internal feeling of you wanted to help somebody and maybe it was a nursing maybe it was something totally different like a counselor but with the motivation and push behind your friend, you didn't get to explore all of your options. So that's the main thing of number three is sometimes you can't tell your business because you need to explore your options and your thoughts and your internal feelings about some things on your own. And that's the three things that I basically learned, you know, about sharing my business. I've had to experience the mad day. I've had to experience my stuff getting downplayed and losing good people or possibly losing good people listening to the negative things that my friends have said about them or, um, you know, making a decision based on what my friends said. And you can't say, oh, I got a mind of my own. My friends don't influence me. Yes, they do. That's why there is the saying birds of a feather flock together, you know. It's we we see it all the time. Not saying, okay, three friends, one's a nurse, and so everybody else gonna be a nurse because she's making the bag. No, everybody's gonna have their thing and do their thing, but this influences people. Like if you have a whole bunch of broke friends, you don't stay broke. You gotta get around people with money. And it's going to influence you some type of way to make money. And that makes a diff big difference. My last little example I want to give before I go. When I was in medical school, I hung around friends that, you know, were more like me, more similar to me and things of that nature. I didn't branch out. And I'm not going to say this is why I failed or anything like that. But I didn't branch out and explore new friendships and things of that nature. You know, I associated with these friends I told all my business to these friends you know I told my challenges with my struggles of studying and and passing this exam and stuff like that and guess what me and all them same friends are in the same boat none of us are there's a few there's a few but none of us are doctors none of us finished now the ones who were really nice and open and I didn't hang with and I didn't spend time with and I didn't go study with all of them are doctors all of them and it's like, dang, if I would have got the influence or had a different set of friends or not told all my business to these people, or even if I told my business to these people, that they might have been like, girl, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Let's get focused. You know, I don't want to talk about that. I want to focus. And I could have maybe possibly had a different type of success or outcome. But anyways, make sure you subscribe, girly girls. And I'll see you next time.